now! We're leaving this instant, you hear me? Mom! I'm falling! Help me! Help me! Help me! I don't want to get hurt! I should have listened to you, Mom! Look, sweetie, we don't have much time. They're coming for you, too. I need you, Mom! Where are you? Jack, remember the last time you ran around? I don't want you to hurt yourself again. Last time you couldn't walk for weeks. But the weather is amazing. It's okay, Mom. I'll be careful, I promise. I've learned my lesson. You mean like how you promised the last time you got hurt? Sure, Jack. We believe you. Can't wait to see all the lessons you've learned this time. <laughs> <laughs> you two are killjoys. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do next. Come down from there. You know how dangerous it is. This time will hurt a lot more than the last time. Don't worry, Mom. I didn't get hurt the last time, remember? I'm totally going to be fine this time. You watch. I'd say we leave him alone. If he falls, he'll learn. Anyways, Mom, look at what I made. Another wooden jet, John? <laughs> I still don't understand how you managed to cut it so well. I hope you're not using the kitchen knife, dear. Those things are dangerous, you know. Kitchen knife? What kitchen knife? I've never seen a knife in my life, Mom. Kitchen knife? Pfft, no way! You know how much wiser and smarter I am, right? Son, you might be wiser than Jack, but you're a terrible liar. Oh no, oh not now. Jack, Jack, come down from there right now! We're leaving this instant, you hear me? I'm not going to let a giant flying bird ruin my picnic. Just watch me. Take that and never come back. Genius, Jack. A rock will definitely scare the birdie away. I can see it cowering with fear. Now get down here and run. Mom, I'm falling. Help me! Help me! Help me! I don't want to get hurt! I should have listened to you, Mom! Ah! Oh, it was a nightmare! A horrible nightmare! I was so scared! Mom, I'm scared! Where are you? Mom, where are you? John! I'm hungry! Where are you? If you guys are trying to scare me, it's working! I don't want to play hide and seek, Mom! We can play later! Mom! Where are you? Oh my god! You're finally here! I'm so happy! Uh, miss! Have you seen my mom? Uh, have you seen John? They're not in the house! I'm feeling scared. Sweetie, listen to me. I'm so sorry, but your family cannot be with you anymore. I don't know how else to tell you this, but you cannot see them anymore. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, why not? I want to see my mom, miss. Why can't I see her anymore? Uh, where is she? Look, sweetie, we don't have much time. They're coming for you, too. Get out of here right now. I'll join you soon, okay? You need to leave now. No questions. But, but what's happening? No questions, Jack. Leave now. They're coming for you. I made a promise to your mom that I'd keep you safe. Please, sweetie, run as fast as you can and don't look back. I promise I'll come find you soon, okay?
happening? Why are those bad people after me? Why did they go to my house? Where's mom? Where's John? Where are you, mom? I don't like this. I need you, mom. Where are you? It's a dream. It's all a dream. Yes, I'll just lie down and wake myself up. Then I can meet mom again. Where am I? What happened? I'm in the for... Mom! Where are you? Mom! John! Are you hiding from me again? It's not funny, you know. I don't want to play anymore. Uh, please, come out. I'm scared, Mom. here. I can't let them see me. Not like this. I, I don't have the energy to run anymore. outside are scarier, not the snake. Calm down. If I scream, they'll find me. I'm so hungry. Who is it? I, I have a gun. Uh, don't come anywhere near me. I have a gun. Uh, I'll, I'll hurt you if you try to hurt me. So tired. I can't walk anymore. C can't do anything. Someone help me. Someone. Anyone. I don't want to die. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Finally awake, huh? Had us worried there for a second, you know. Wh where am I? Uh, wh what is this place? Calm down, son. We'll explain later. We saw you lying flat on your face out there. You're lucky to even be alive considering everything that's happening in this country. Private Steve should be here soon. He'll be glad to know you're safe. He's the one that found you and decided to bring you in. I guess he has a soft spot for kids like you. In the meantime, tell me your name, son. You're a fighter, kid. You know that. Even for us, it takes everything in us to stay alive. 
especially in this hellish war. What's a little kid like you doing out here anyway? Shouldn't you be with your family? Did you get lost? I see. I'm so sorry, kid. I I didn't know. I, I hope they're in a better place, safe from all of this. Uh, Pleased to meet you, uh, sir. Uh, my name's Jack. It's a... Uh... It's an honor to meet you. Thank you for saving my life. I'm forever thankful. <laughs> I like this kid already. Nice to meet you, Jack. I'm Private Steve, but you can call me Steve. And this right here is Commander Lewis. Rest up, little soldier. Have some hot water, and then we'll head back. Our camp nurse will take care of you from there. She's the best there is. Thank you. You two have saved me. So happy you found me. I was so scared out there. I thought I would... I thought... Let's talk later, okay, Jack? Get some rest for now. You've been through a lot. You're safe now. And that's all that matters. I'll let you know if anything changes with the kid. He's in good hands, I promise. I appreciate that, Steve. Thank you. Squad Tin Hut! You're such a fighter, Jack. You know that, right? Even some of the soldiers here cannot handle their wounds. Are you... are you the camp nurse? Steve and Lewis told me so much about you. That's right, sweetie, but you can call me Kate. I think it has a nice ring to it. Okay then, Miss Kate, I want to ask you something. Will you draw a tank on my wounds? When I grow up, I want to be just like the strong people who saved me today. I think they're so cool. <laughs> All right, little soldier. One tank it is. Do you want me to draw some medals too? I think you're going to be a big and strong commander someday. Maybe you'll even fight for world peace. <laughs> Being a soldier is a real business, kid. Mess up even a little and you might end up like me. Maybe even worse. You sure you want that kind of life? Don't worry, sweetie. He's just playing with you. You can be whatever you want to be when you grow up. So you're one of those brave and cool people, too. I want to be just like you, too. You're injured, but you protect children like me. That actually means a lot, little soldier. Maybe you're not so bad after all. <laughs> <laughs> How's he holding up? Nothing too serious. He'll be in perfect condition in a few weeks. You were right, Louis. This boy is a gift. He's already the talk of the camp. I haven't seen soldiers this lighthearted in such a long time. I'm glad to hear it. It really takes out all of the pressure of this ugly war. Can't believe it's been five years already and there's still no end in sight. I just wish this would all end soon. I'm tired of seeing people suffer. Soldiers, civilians, families, women and children. I don't know if I have the strength to carry on for another year. Hey, it'll be all over soon, I promise. Real soon we'll be back to our normal but peaceful lives without all this bloodshed. We'll be back to our friends and families. That's my promise to you, Kate. I'll make sure everyone gets out of this all right. Commander, thank you. And I'm sorry you had to see me like this. I'll get back to the other soldiers now. Louis, when I grow up, I'm going to be one of the cool and brave people just like you. What do you think, Louis? I think you're going to be a great soldier, Jack. Just don't get yourself hurt like that again, okay? We all care about your safety, not just me. I heard from Kate that you've made some friends already. Whoa, is that a gun? Uh, can I see? Please, I promise I'll be careful. 
You're way too young to be handling one of these, kid. But you know what? I'll let it pass this time. I'll just remove all the bullets. I feel invincible! Yes! <laughs> I like you more and more by the hour. <laughs> the kid really makes you feel young again, doesn't he, Commander? I wouldn't mind him staying here with us until we all get back. This camp is a safe place for him. No one will lay a finger on him under our watch. A war camp is no place for a little boy. I can't risk him getting hurt again. Or worse, even in this camp, soldiers could break in easily and take him and... I don't even want to imagine that. But still, I'll think about it. I just need some more time. Today's been a heavy day. Of course! Take all the time you need. It's not like we're going anywhere for the next month or several months. Well, however long it takes for this hell to finally stop. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I should attend to the rest of Jack's injuries. He's healing fast, but he's nowhere near healthy yet. Report back to me with any changes on the boy's health. Understood? Yes, Commander. Oh, um, uh, hey. Here's a report on the boy's condition, as promised. He's healing faster than I imagined. I think he got lucky. He has some slight cuts in an empty stomach, but I'm so glad he didn't get attacked. I can't believe this! Those idiots think they can go around targeting women and children like that! Jack must have lost his family in this invasion. I just hope I can find him a good orphanage. Actually, Commander, I came to ask you about that too. I was thinking... Why don't we let Jack stay in camp? He's carried the weight of the war off the shoulders of so many of us. Some soldiers here, I've never seen them so happy when they met Jack. Everybody's seeing him, talking to him. I've made up my mind already. Camp is no place for a little boy, Kate. We're lucky he's even alive. Can you imagine the guilt if something were to happen to him? I can't live with that, Kate. I just can't. But, Commander, we'll keep him safe. I promise he'll be a great addition to the camp. My word is final. I'm not going to see him get hurt again. He's like a son to me. The son I never had. I can't put him in harm's way, Kate. I just can't. I understand, Commander. You're right. I don't want to see him hurt either. I guess I'll start looking for an orphanage, too. For Jack. Thank you, Kate. If it makes you feel any better, you can go visit him anytime you like. Even at the orphanage. We'll send him some presents, food, uh, anything he needs. I guess that would be nice. You're right, you know. I've been in camp for years and it's always so gloomy. Jack just makes everything brighter. But I can't see him getting hurt either because of us. Well, I'll head back to the nurse's quarters. Thank you, Commander. <laughs> See, Kate, I told you he'd have fun here. I'm more impressed by you, soldier. I've never seen you this happy before. <laughs> what can I say? This kid makes me feel young again. I never thought I'd remember the good old days when I didn't have a care in the world. All I cared about was whether my mom would take me out for ice cream. I remember as a kid, I'd be outside until nine and my mother would freak out. Ah, oh, those were the days. Kid's been a blessing in disguise. I can't wait for this all to be over. I can't wait to get back and start my own family. We all hope so. Lord, let this war end fast. Whoa, are those binoculars? I've seen them all the time on TV. <laughs> Why don't you try him on then? Here you go, kid. Help yourself. Whoa! Everything looks so large! Everything's so big! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>